Hello there, hope you are doing good. My name is Amir and it's my first video in English. Hope you will like it and sorry if you notice some mistakes because it's not my native language. It's my first time here in Spain, exactly in Yuri del Mar. So it's my first time, it's the first time I'm traveling alone. I decided to make to make a video and share this experience with you. And yes, I decided to take this adventure to see how I will manage the travel alone. When I say traveling alone, it doesn't mean that you will stay alone all the time. No, it's not the point. The point is you are free to do whatever you want, to go wherever you wish and to eat whatever you desire and making some new friends. So you're going to ask me, I mean, how can we do this? I mean, traveling alone and meeting some new friends. Actually, I booked a hostel at booking.com. I'm sharing a room with three persons that I don't know. The first day I met Bailey. Bailey is a guy coming from Australia. Hi, I'm Bailey. I'm from Phillip Island in Australia. I've been traveling for just over two months now. Uh, Spain is my 10th country. I've got just over three weeks left and I'm heading to Morocco. Second day, I met a new friend. Uh, she's name is Manon and she's coming from France. show you the hustle. There is a kitchen, a living room, and this is my room. So. I am here with Peoli. We're going to a beautiful beach here at Yoli del Mar. Stay with us. Okay, Bailey, can you tell us why, why you choose to travel alone and uh, what is for you the benefits of traveling alone, you know, the good and the bad things? I started with a friend. We had both planned to start our travels sort of separately, but we ended up linking up the whole month, which was good. The benefits of traveling with someone else are that you always have someone else to talk to and cross-reference with if you're not sure where to go or what to do, but it's also good to travel by yourself because you can live on your own timeline, uh, see what you want to see, do what you feel like doing, and you get to meet more new people if you're on your own. It sort of goes both ways though, because if you're with a friend it could be easier to make friends, but I guess it just adds to the experience when you're travelling around by yourself. And um, especially in a country where you speak, uh, people English isn't the first language, so it's hard, but it, it's all part of the experience. So for me, it's so far the best experience I never had in my life. I met beautiful people, I discovered beautiful places, I taste Spanish dishes it was so delicious, like tortilla, paila, all this stuff. I will not lie to you, in the beginning it was a little bit harder for me because as I told you, it's my first time here in Spain. I don't speak Spanish, few people here talk in English. So I struggled to find the bus who would pick me up from Barcelona airport to uh, Roy del Mar. But after this, everything goes okay. So what about you? Tell me in the comments, uh, what do you think about traveling alone? Have you done this, this experience before? Hope you like the video. Don't forget to like it, thumbs up, and share with your friends and family. Thank you so much, and see you on the next video.
life, chasing something outside of myself. It wasn't that my life wasn't good, it's just that happiness, real happiness, always felt like it was right around the corner. But everything changed for me when I decided to stop chasing happiness. I decided to stop looking all over the world for a moment or an experience or a person to change my life and started to create that change myself. The moment I decided to change my life and understand that I need to never, never count on someone else to give me happiness is the moment that my life began to change and I started making my own happiness. Make your own happiness. I forgot to tell you something, the people here in Yoidermal are so friendly. Hey!